This video is one in a series of videos covering how to make a car body for automation, the car company tycoon game, from start to finish. In this video, we will apply the bevel modifier and work on rounding off our windows, which are currently in a rather square state. If I attempt to apply the bevel modifier here out of order, you can see the seam doesn't stay put. To fix this, we need to apply the shrink wrap modifier first, then the bevel modifier. So let's do that. Now we can put the shrink wrap modifier back in place. Don't forget to reassign the vertex group. Now the seam stays put. Let's put the rounded corner we need in the windshield glass. This is a process primarily made possible because of the shrink wrap modifier we've used up to this point. If you try to do this without the shrink wrap, you may get some very ugly results. So with these three vertices selected, I'll control B to bevel and scroll up on the mouse wheel to get the number of segments I want. Now I'll auto merge edge slide this vertex here. I'll edge slide this vertex up and down and all around until I get it somewhere I like. This section is now an end gone, so I'll select these opposing vertices here and press J to join and again with the next two vertices. I need to connect the rest of these with some triangles now, so I'll select two vertices and press J to join until I have fully formed geometry. Rather than apply the shrink wrap here, I want to have a little more control over where these vertices end up, so I'll manually adjust them up along the Z axis until they're sitting on the surface of our target mesh. Now let's check our reflections. Let's turn off this wireframe. Let's make some small adjustments. It's mostly good, but I need sharp edges around all the seams first before I can really judge, so let's do that. This will be easier if I switch into Edge Select mode, which is 2 on the keyboard. Now that I have all the edges selected, I'm going to go through and deselect the edges in the middle of the seams. Now I'll add sharp edges, which I keep on my quick axis menu, which you can get to by pressing Q. You can program just about any function you want Blender to do in this menu. Otherwise, the sharp edges can be found here in the Edge menu. Now I'll make sure Auto Merge Edge Slide is active, and I'll start merging some of these unneeded vertices into the center, just to save on geometry. I'll repeat this step for each seam intersection. Let's take a look at our reflections now. Okay, I may adjust this a bit more later, but let's move on to the rear hatch now and repeat what we did at the front.
In this case, I need to do things a bit differently. After I edge slide the first two vertices, I'll join these two verts here and get rid of the extra triangle. I'll edge slide this one down. I'll repeat it for the next one over. Now let's assign the sharp edge here. I'll move the vertices up manually on the z-axis until they're sitting on top of the target mesh. Now let's copy and apply the shrink wrap. I'll do it with the wireframe on to make sure it doesn't end up out of whack. And now I'll check the reflections. Looking good. I want to round off this part of the quarter glass some more using the same techniques. So let's throw a single bevel here. And I'll join these two verts here. I'll copy and apply the shrink wrap modifier. Fix up the sharp edges. And we still need a touch more geometry, so let's bevel this one up here. Auto merge, edge slide. I'll join this one down here. Fix the sharp edges. And why not? How about one more bevel here? More auto merge edge slides. Fix the sharp edges. I'll take these two faces and press F to fill them. And I'll just rework the quads here by joining alternating vertices here. Let's check reflections. Better than I thought they'd look. Let's make this curve look more like a curve now, rather than just a jumbled collection of butcher shop bevels. I'll do this from right side view, which you can get to by pressing Ctrl-3 on the numpad. I'll copy and apply the shrink wrap. And that's looking good now. I have a lot of bunched up triangles here, so let's try selecting these four faces, pressing F to make a large n-gon, and then I'll join these two vertices here. And now we actually have a pair of quads. One last look at our reflections. Let's make some quick adjustments up top here. And that'll do it. This car was a pretty simple design, so we didn't have to do a lot of rounding off. You may find on some other projects, like say an older American car, that you need to round off a lot more parts of the car, but the principles are the same. This will conclude this video. If you found it useful, give the video a like, and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this one as they're released. See you next time!